Dobbs and Bakker. We never know. Danielle Dwyer is live around the state. Let's go to her now, and she's got big nuts. <laughs> Well, Dan, I must have scared away all the Michigan fans because my next story goes to the Ohio State side. It's a, it's a super fan. That, it all started, his persona for Ohio State, it all started with a basket of cookies. Meet John Peters, a 54-year-old man from Fremont, Ohio, and a huge Ohio State fan. Coach Trussell signed that one for me. That was at the championship game. During the week, you can find Peters working at Whirlpool, but on college game day, you can bet he'll be front and center to watch his beloved Buckeyes play. A love that started at a young age and continued to grow after his grandfather took him to his first game when he was just 15 years old. But it wasn't until he wanted to win a basket of cookies at a best dress contest in 1995 that Peters' superfan persona started. Our honor defend, we will fight to the end for oh, oh. Fast forward to the 2002 National Championship game in Tempe, Arizona, and the big nut craze with Buckeye Nation was born. We decided to paint up for the uh, pep rally the day before, and uh, we were well received by the Buckeye Nation. Uh, we were, um, people wanted pictures with me after the uh, event and stuff, and I thought, well, you know what, let's, let's paint up for the, uh, the championship game. Big Nut says he was blessed to be shown in the championship game DVD, and since then, his recognition has continued to grow. But as his Ohio State persona grew and became more demanding, his day-to-day -day life remained the same. The great thing about it was, was I was still going to work every day uh, as John Peters, and uh, pe people had no idea what I was doing. Now fans come to expect him at every single game, home or away. He says he can't even remember the last regular season game he missed. The only game he remembers missing was the 2011 Sugar Bowl game against Arkansas. But he had a good reason for missing the birth of his second grandchild. As his recognition grew... How you doing, guys? Go Bucks! And grew... <laughs> These are some of Grandpa's Buckeyes. And grew... Hey, hey, hey pirate, yeah. Tell me we can have a picture together. Yeah, absolutely, pirate. <laughs> so did his schedule of Buckeye events, something he says he uses nearly all five weeks of his vacation time for. But he and his wife, Therese, who he calls First Lady, make sure to fit some sightseeing in at away games. That is a form of our vacation. Uh, why we're at the away games uh, to visit the uh, the community and, and, and visit different things. He says if it weren't for First Lady, bringing support to the Buckeyes and smiles to fans' faces each game wouldn't be possible. She is my rock. She does 90% of, of, of the painting. Uh, she does so much stuff behind the scenes. I couldn't do this without her. Um, she actually deserves more credit uh, and recognition than what I get because... Um, like I say, um, without, behind every good man is a great woman, and, I, and I, I married a great one. And First Lady is the key to getting Big Nut ready for the big games. The season ticket holder and Buckeye Club member takes almost as much time to get ready for the games as the players. It can take up to two hours for First Lady to paint his face and help him get ready. Then it's off to tailgate, visit with fellow Buckeye fans, and cheer on the Buckeyes. <laughs> While he's been able to see more than 144 regular season games and 13 bowl games since 2002, Big Nut says there's one memory that stands out year after year. I still enjoy the atmosphere when we play that team up north because it's that's why they call it the game. And it, it is the game of all games. It's like when you're st standing around a fire ring at night and you're looking in, you're feeling the heat from the fire. And, and you know how the closer you get to it, the hotter it is. It's kind of like when you're in that, in, that, in that first row up in Ann Arbor or in Columbus in a, in a horseshoe. Um, the closer you get to the field, you can feel the heat, the fire. The, the, the passion of the game between them two schools is amazing. And to me, um, that, that is probably the, the highlight of, uh, of uh, watching uh, my team, the Buckeyes, play. A feeling that's in full effect each rivalry game and another chapter in Big Nut's Superfan book. Now we have plenty more from Big Nut coming up, but now I'm going to send it back to John Monk. He's at the Buckeye store. More, John, 